Hey everyone, this is Travis from T-Shirt Productions, and I'm just going to give you a rundown of the Roland RD800. Basically, how to get some basic controls happening on it, uh, checking out the layout, how to make uh, custom saves, and how to edit those things. So let's jump right into it. So here's a sound that I just recently made. It's just a piano pad. upper um, I actually have like a string sound so it's like this which on its own sounds really good but I know when I play it live it sounds like trash um, so what I want to do is I want to swap out that one instrument in this save. I have it in B1 right now. So what I'm going to do, I'll turn them all on here. So what I'm actually going to do is best option here. So this is how you can kind of go through the sets back up to what I had. Wherever I decided to go. There we go. Hiding away. So what we're actually going to do to edit this, we actually have to go over live edits or live set edit. Hit that and we're going to edit in the layer. So we're going to hit enter. Then consagrant's good, pad's good. We want to change out number three here. I'm actually going to make it active. Um, we're going to check it out. So let's go enter. You can actually get all your tone designs and that kind of stuff. I'm just going to exit to go back. So we want to edit this one. So all I have to do is start turning this wheel. So we don't want that. I'm actually going to look for another pad, I think, just to kind of fill it all out. I'm going to turn everything off so I can just hear this. So I'm just thicken out my, my whole sound here. Now while I'm in this, I can actually edit all these parameters separately for this. So if I want to add more reverb, the tone color, so I'm going to turn it all the way up so it's fully stereo. Um, we can actually change modulation, which it doesn't actually tell you what the modulation you're changing is. So in order to find that out, you actually, while you're in here, hit enter and go to modulation effects and hit enter and it'll tell you what your module which is EQ, which is kind of pointless because there's an EQ option up here. So, you might want to go and flip through a few different options. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that right now. It's kind of not important. Um, and then we can add back all these guys. <laughs> I'm actually going to press the right button. I want to save it back into this B slot right here. So I'm going to hit the right button and B. Uh, so you can do it that way. It'll ask you if you want to change the name. To change the name, you can go up to it here. If you hit shift and this arrow going that way, left, I guess, um, it'll actually backspace it all. And then you can roll this thing to change um, the letters. Press over to go to the next letter. Just some simple things there. But it asks if I want to actually write it. Hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter. So are you sure? Enter again. And now it's saved in. So if I went over to this live set, 
flip back. Now my soft pad is in here. So that's great. Now if you want to start from bare scratch, um, so this is usually what it starts like with Concert Grand, and I want to add and create my own um, kind of sound. I'm going to do, say I want to do a modern piano. So select multiple things. We press and hold on the multiple things that we want. So if I want a modern piano and strings and a choir pad, press all three. You can notice it loaded all three and it selects them in order the way I'm pressing them, um, which I press both those at the same time. So I guess it just picks. Um, and why not turn a fourth one on? Why not? And what I'm going to do is we're going to go edit. Um, we're going to go enter to actually edit these layers. So we have a piano. Let's see what we got here. We got we got that pad that I actually just used. Got some strings. We got an upright piano. It sounds like and a choir pad. So I like all these, but I don't really want the piano. So again, I'm just gonna add it out of the piano. So I'm on the piano three, and I actually want to, uh, it's electric grand, that's why. Um, I actually want to go to um, a, a modern piano, or like modern electric piano. Actually, forget that. Vintage, let me go to MK2, I'm gonna hit enter. <laughs> change the volume here I'm gonna push up what is it third one but then for this guy if I want to change some effects and that kind of thing I can actually go and add some drive options. I'm not going to do that because I really don't want to save that. Basically this is what I did last night. I saved it to C and made a nice beautiful pads. But then if I want to come in with a little more, I brought in uh, the MK2. So actually add a little trim. On modulation, I have a phaser, which is wonderful. Um, so it's just beautiful sound. So that's about it for that. If you have any questions, let me know.